What's up everybody? So we're not letting these pillows go to waste. No, we're gonna use them for many more projects. And today what we're gonna do is we're going to build a pillow, like resi light, like a rogue crash pad. We're building a pillow crash pad for flips and we're gonna test it out using pillows and tape. All right. What a waste of tape. No, it's not. So we made a little outline so it all kind of holds together. Then underneath we have uh, three pillows taped together. And then on top we're kind of thinking we'll just leave the pillows as they yeah, are. Because then you can put them where you want too. Yeah, and it would act more like a foam pit, you know, because the foam does like move freely which makes it softer. It's like a combination of a foam pit and a crash pad now. So I think we're going to leave it like that and if we need to later we will tape it up later. But right now I want to take it to the trampoline and test it out. Yeah. Let's do it. There we go, the pillow crash pad. We're gonna test it out on the trampoline first. Ouch! So after trying to land upside down in the pillow pit a few times to really put it to the test, um. It, it still hurt, but I think that's because the pillows moved out of the way on the trampoline um, because, you know, the bounce is affecting the pillows. And, um, yeah, I ended up going, like, right through the crack and hitting the trampoline. So, that's not the point of this. The point of this is to make a crash pad for the ground, basically, or for the elevated part. So, we're going to take it to the ground now. Maybe we'll put it on the air track, but let's pack it in the car, take it to the park, and then we're going to do some flips on this one. Now I've got our uh, detachable pillow pad set up right here. Looks a lot smaller when it's outside. <laughs> uh. It's actually pretty soft. Well, this is a cool shot. All right, guys, let's test it out. I don't know, it just looks like it might hurt. Yeah, it, it is gonna hurt, actually. Oh. oh! You feel a full impact of the ground. Holy moly. Oh. It's not soft. It's not soft at all. Fail. Oh, jeez. Now we're gonna try to put the pillows on the uh, air track and see if that works better. Oh yeah, it doesn't even move. Oh, it's soft. This actually works way better. Honest? Yeah, you don't want to land on your head, but on the side, like it's definitely it's definitely way better than just the air track. What about your knees? Knees? Yeah, your knees would be fine. Okay, guys. I was a little disappointed to start with because, you know, it's like another fail, but not anymore, not today. Ready, sweetie? Yep. For the lady. For the lady. Sucks up, man. 21 pills, $4.99 each. That is about $105. Um, so $105 for this pillow pad. So far, I'm like one out of 100 on the success scale. It's like a 40%. It's just not enough cushion. It's not It's not enough cushion. I don't know how much exactly like a Resolite pad is, like an eight by four, but I think it's a couple hundred dollars. So in that aspect, I guess it's, you know, one third the price, one fourth the price. I think you'd be better off with a mattress. I think a mattress would be better. So go go out during, during garbage day, go pick a mattress. Um, it'd be way softer <laughs> and way more put together and you get that for free. You wouldn't have to do this idea. Hold up home slice, we ain't done yet. Take three on this pillow pad disaster. But this time, I actually think I have something here that's gonna work, be functional, and do what it's told. 
Jeez. So what did I do? I totally made some serious adjustments to the elevated mesh. This time, hopefully, it actually lifts the pillows off the trampoline. And then on top of that, we're gonna use the pillow pad that we made that contains the pillows to hold them in and hopefully nothing snaps and hits me in the face. <laughs> Look at, I added some reinforcement, double bungees. Look at that quality worksmanship. And what I did is I also brought these up about a foot. So I brought each one up about a foot. And now you can see, well you can almost see underneath the whole thing. I think it's touching a little bit, but barely. So I doubled up on some of these. Some I didn't, because <laughs> I ran out. It still looks like it's touching, but it's barely touching. Crap, some of these are pretty tight. Uh oh, see? Oh, now it's not breaking apart when I jump. Oh, oh. something going wrong right here, you know what I mean? <laughs> or right here. Oh man, dude. We don't quit around here. We keep it going until it works. Oh man, I can barely zip this thing up. Ugh. Okay. So why is it touching me? Oh, it still works, see? Alright. Nothing snapped. Oh. Did I miss it totally? I think I totally missed it. This seems absolutely ridiculous, but it's actually working finally more like I intended it to. Like the pillows aren't moving around. Because, okay, when you put foam on a trampoline, when you put like pillows or a mattress, it bounces with the trampoline, it moves around, and then it also kills the bounce. The idea behind this elevated system is to raise it off the surface just a little bit so that the pillows stay in place and it doesn't mess with the bounce of the trampoline. And it's actually working more like it's intended to now. After all these adjustments, after all these videos I made on this, I'm sorry if that's annoying to some of you guys, but finally, because you gotta focus. After all those jumps, it looks like it's holding up pretty well. Um, nothing ripped through. You know, it's kind of looking a little bit eh, but ooh, look at this one. But still, nothing came undone. I think it sunk down a little bit. I, I would totally fix that by just taking those uh, resistance bands and moving them up the pole a little bit. It would lift back off. But yeah, honestly, this works how I intended it to within Within about the, uh, you know, 80th percentile, which, you know, it's good enough for me. So at the end of the day, the pillow pit on the ground doesn't really work too well as a crash pad. The ground's just too hard and the pillows aren't soft enough. Well, they're soft, but the cotton isn't resistant enough. It doesn't provide enough uh, resistance like a nice resi light mat wood or a nice uh, rogue crash pit wood or, you know, some other foam wood. The cotton in the pillow just, it's too fluffy and you go right to the ground. However, on the trampoline elevated pit, it actually works very well and it is very soft, very nice. Very soft, very nice. But anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this build. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you guys so much for all your support. Don't forget to subscribe, more videos coming out. Peace, y'all have a good one. I'll see you in the next video. Get it out of here. Get it out of here. Get it out of here. Yeah. <laughs>